Paul Servat and Barbara Bienvenu had only been dating for a couple of months when, in September 2013, Barbara announced that she was pregnant. Despite the brevity of their relationship, Paul was ecstatic. He believed that their relationship was something special, something meant to be. In his eyes, there was no reason to doubt Barbara's claim. She hadn't given him any cause for suspicion. Paul felt a deep connection with Barbara, something he had longed for after years of unsuccessful relationships. Barbara seemed to be everything he had ever wanted, kind-hearted, innocent, and loving. To Paul, she was almost too good to be true. As Paul reflects on that time now, he realizes there were peculiarities in Barbara's behavior that he chose to ignore. The most bizarre aspect of her pregnancy was her uncertainty about how many babies she was carrying. Even after multiple medical tests, the exact number of babies wasn't determined until a week before she was supposedly due to give birth. Initially, Barbara had told Paul they were expecting one child, and Paul was thrilled at the prospect of becoming a father. But only a few weeks later, Barbara revealed that she was carrying twins. Paul was surprised but overjoyed. However, the number continued to grow, first to triplets, then to quadruplets, and finally, a week before the due date, Barbara informed Paul that they were expecting quintuplets. Typically, the number of fetuses is determined within the first trimester of pregnancy, around 12 to 14 weeks. But Barbara's case remained unclear for an unusually long time. Paul found this odd, but he chalked it up to possible errors on the part of the doctors. His excitement about becoming a father to five babies overshadowed any doubts. With the due date approaching, Paul knew he had to prepare for the monumental task of raising five children. The rarity of having quintuplets is almost unimaginable, with only about 20 documented cases in history. Paul understood that he would need significant financial support to care for such a large family. He began working multiple jobs to ensure that he could provide for his growing family. But it quickly became apparent that his efforts alone would not be enough. Determined to give his babies the best possible start in life, Paul created a to seek donations from local stores, charities, and well-wishers. He knew that he would need all the help he could get to prepare for the arrival of his five children. The response from the community was overwhelming. Donations poured in, and Paul and Barbara received an outpouring of support in the form of clothing, furniture, and other baby essentials. Their home in Montreal, Canada, quickly filled with items for the babies, and Paul felt a deep sense of gratitude for the kindness of strangers. His happiness grew even more when Barbara asked him to pick out names for their quintuplets. For Paul, it was a moment of pure joy, a confirmation that he was about to become the father of five precious children. Despite Barbara's growing belly, some people began to notice inconsistencies in her story. To outsiders, her baby bump did not seem large enough to be carrying five fetuses. One of the first people to grow suspicious was Genevieve La Flamme, a close acquaintance of the couple who had recently given birth to triplets. Genevieve had been very supportive of Barbara and Paul, offering advice and assistance as they prepared for the arrival of their babies. But when Barbara revealed just a week before her due date that she was carrying quintuplets, Genevieve found it hard to believe. She knew that such a detail could not have been missed during earlier ultrasounds. While some were growing skeptical, Paul remained oblivious to any deception. He was focused on preparing for the arrival of the babies, happily posing for photographs with Barbara's pregnant belly and eagerly anticipating the birth. But as the due date arrived, the truth came crashing down on Paul in the most devastating way possible. In March, believing Barbara was in labor, Paul rushed her to the hospital. But instead of returning with their quintuplets, the doctors delivered heartbreaking news. Barbara had never been pregnant. The entire pregnancy had been a fabrication, a case of phantom pregnancy, a condition where a woman exhibits symptoms of pregnancy without actually being pregnant. Paul was crushed by the revelation. His dreams of becoming a father were shattered in an instant. But the nightmare didn't end there. As Paul tried to process the shocking news, more disturbing details about Barbara's past began to emerge. An ex-boyfriend came forward with allegations that this wasn't the first time Barbara had faked a pregnancy. A relative of Barbara's revealed that she had a history of deceit, including pretending to have leukemia. The relative explained that Barbara had cut ties with her family to keep them from discovering her lies, a pattern of behavior that suggested deep psychological issues. Following the discovery of her false pregnancy, Barbara was placed under psychiatric observation. Her actions were attributed to serious mental health problems that needed to be addressed to prevent her from repeating this behavior. Meanwhile, Paul was left to deal with the emotional wreckage of the situation. A friend of Paul's described his devastation, saying, he was crying on the phone. He was crushed, he didn't understand. The betrayal was almost too much to bear. 
Despite his emotional turmoil, Paul felt a strong sense of responsibility to the people who had supported him and Barbara during the supposed pregnancy. He announced that he would return all the donations and gifts they had received for the non-existent babies. I'll return all these things to people who mail them or give them away, he said. I'm a decent person and I don't have anything to do with these lies. It was a painful process, but Paul knew it was the right thing to do. In the aftermath of the ordeal, Paul struggled to make sense of what had happened. He had been so sure of Barbara, so convinced that they were building a future together. The realization that it had all been a lie left him feeling lost and broken. But Paul was determined to move forward, to heal from the emotional wounds left by Barbara's deception. Many were shocked by the extent of Barbara's deceit and the pain it had caused Paul. While some expressed sympathy for Paul, others were outraged by Barbara's actions and the impact they had on those who had supported the couple. The situation raised important questions about trust, mental health, and the consequences of deception. For Paul, the road to recovery was long and difficult. The betrayal he had experienced left deep scars, and rebuilding his life was a slow and painful process. But with the support of friends and family, Paul gradually began to find his way back to some semblance of normalcy. He focused on taking care of himself and finding peace in the wake of the trauma he had endured. As for Barbara, her fate remained uncertain. Her family hoped that she would receive the medical treatment she needed to address her mental health issues and prevent her from causing further harm to herself or others. The experience served as a stark reminder of the importance of mental health care and the potential consequences when such issues go untreated. Paul's story is a powerful example of the fragility of trust and the profound impact that deception can have on a person's life. It is also a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the ability to heal, even after experiencing deep emotional pain. We can only hope that Paul has found peace and that Barbara is receiving the help she needs to move forward in a healthier and more positive direction.